At least the solar guys are finished. Dee, so the solar system's all installed for you now? Yeah, I'm absolutely thrilled with how good it looks. I didn't expect solar panels to be so seamless, so I'm really happy. It doesn't just look great, uh, it actually does some really special things as well. Time for a crash course in solar. A common misconception with a solar system is that you don't need to be connected to the grid. Well, it's not exactly the case. You need the grid to run with most systems, but yeah. this is where ours is different. We can uh, isolate ourselves from the grid and we can utilise the battery power to basically support the house. Mm. Okay, so this is really important in a fire prone zone, yep. which is what we are. Um, and there's a chance that the grid can go down Absolutely, when the fire comes yeah. through. So what we can do is we can use the stored battery power and we can uh, sense that the grid is down and isolate oh, ourselves wow. from that and activate the pumps. So behind us we have some sprinklers which are run by electricity. What we can do now is we can simulate a grid outage by turning off the power and keep the pumps running. Wow, I'd love to see if that really happens. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> Harry, flick the switch please. Well, Gavin, I have to say that was a bit underwhelming. Nothing happened. That's sort of the point, Dee. It's working. It's seamless. It? <laughs> so, um, yeah, this is, this is the point. And we're running our house from the battery power. Wow. And this is very valuable, particularly when you have a bushfire and you want to keep running those pumps and, and uh, putting the fires out. Yeah. We can see here how much power we're actually producing on the roof. Yeah. OK, it's so indicated it's... by the panels. Oh, cool. wow. Mm -hmm. We can see how much the house is actually using right now, live. And we can also see what the state of the charge is from the battery. Yeah, that's amazing. So the inverter's role is really to wait to, to see the, the grid and wait for it to come back online, and yeah. then it will start to interact again like it would normally. So, Jamie, this powers our whole house, this little thing here. Yeah, that's right. This is the uh, energy storage system here, and wow. this is the inverter that Gavin was just talking to us about. Okay. So it actually powers a typical family home um, throughout the nighttime period. Really? Yeah. That's amazing. So the actual battery and the system together uh, does provide a high amount of power delivery. So that's important if there is a blackout or you know, a brownout, it can power uh, a lot of appliances in your home. So mm. if you, get, you want to power your TV, your fridge to keep your, your beers cold. Definitely. Uh, but also your pumps and things like that as well. Yeah, that's really good. Well, I hope you followed all of that.